An aircraft is cruising at flight level 330. The radio is quiet and the captain begins the approach briefing. Suddenly, the captain's PFD shows a sharp increase in pitch angle and the autopilot disconnects automatically. But the aircraft is still in level flight and both the first officer's PFD and the standby artificial horizon continue to display the normal one degree pitch up. And yet, the captain reacts to his PFD without comparing it to the two other attitude sources and pushes the control column forward. As the recorded pitch angle quickly exceeds 10 degrees down, the first officer calls to the captain to stop the pitch down. Recognizing that startle effect may be affecting the captain and loss of control threatens because he no longer has situational awareness, the first officer takes control. Now the first officer begins recovering the aircraft to level flight. About 20 to 30 seconds later, the captain has regained his composure. Crisis averted, but what happened there? The captain fell victim to the startle effect, a natural response to a sudden and unexpected event. Some people are affected more than others, and the effects may be more pronounced at night or in IMC conditions with few visual references. The startle effect can last 30 to 90 seconds with a rapid recovery. Because it is part of the fight or flight response, it cannot be trained out. Fortunately, the chance that both pilots will be seriously affected is remote. What are the key takeaways for this event? To mitigate the consequences of the startle effect, good practices such as instrument cross-checking and coordination between crew members is key, especially if there has been an unexpected reversion to manual flight. In extreme circumstances, the pilot monitoring may have to take control of the aircraft. Once the flight is completed, a debrief should take place and an air safety report should be filed. Find out more about the startle effect on Skybrae.